British Council would like to share the story of the youngest candidate ever to have taken the IELTS exam in Pakistan. We had the opportunity to chat one on one with this bright and inspiring candidate. Her name is Sitara Baruj Akbar and she is only 11 years old. British Council IELTS exam services officer Zulkarnain Ahmed is going to ask her a few questions. Welcome Sitara. My name is Zulkarnain Ahmed and I am assistant examination services officer in British Council IELTS department. Today I will be asking some questions about your experience of taking IELTS exam with British Council. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Can you please tell me about yourself? My name is Sitara Brujakbar and I am from Rabwa. My father's name is Muhammad Akbar Bhutta and we have five siblings and I am the eldest. What made you take IELTS exam with British Council? Um, I wanted to find out my weaknesses in my second language, that is English, and I also wanted to check my level. In what way has your family encouraged you for your further academics? They have basically provided me with the environment that is needed and have encouraged me in such a way and have made me believe in self or what we call inner motivation. So, uh, that is what they have provided me with the best facilities and it has made me believe that I can do something. So, what are your future goals? My future goals, I want to become a scientist like Dr. Abdul Salam and I want to serve my country. How was your experience taking IELTS exam with British Council? Um, it went very nice. Everything went smoothly and I felt at home. Basically, I was a bit nervous before I entered the hall. But once inside, I saw the smiling faces of the staff and examiners. I felt relaxed at once as if my worries had been washed away. So Sara, how do you study for an exam? Any tips for exam takers? Well, first of all, pray for yourself and ask others to pray for you. Then you should try to understand the meaning of everything you learn instead of just memorizing it and cramming it. And you should ask um, your teachers. You should know that the more you learn, the more you grow. And you should believe in yourself. And I guess that's all the tips I can get. The rest is supposed on you, how you study. When you are not studying for an exam, what do you do in your spare time? Mm, reading, watching television, sometimes and maybe sometimes cooking. Well, that's interesting. What sort of books do you like? My favorite book, well, it's not just a book, it's a series of books. They are written by Anne Patton, The Famous Five. Then there are The Secret Seven. Um, I basically like adventure stories or stories where you can get a lot of humorous stories, things like that. It seems like you have a good command on English. What's the secret behind it? Um, it's reading and when I was very young, I was almost five years old, I joined my first English class and I, I got a, a certificate of it at the age of six. So, you see, I think that is the, the tender age of a child, that is the learning age. You can teach him five languages, you can teach him 18 languages, as much as you want. Because his brain is totally empty. You're going to give the input and then you're going to get the results. Thank you very much, Sitara, for your time. You're most yes. welcome. British Council really appreciates your achievements and in your achievement we present you a certificate of appreciation. And a goodie bag for you and the best of luck for you in your future. Thank you very much. I would like to say to the youth of my country that you are you should have an aim in your life and you should always work hard because you you sh you should know that you want to achieve a goal in your life. You shouldn't be just aimless, just strolling around the streets and about IELTS, I'd like to say that I think the, that the British Council is a professional setup that provides you with the conducive environment and the necessary facilities. So I should encourage students to take it because I think it's educational. So this was the success story of Sitara Baruj Akbar, who has turned out to be an inspiration for children all around the world. Let us see who's next.